You're in the surgery, it's late at night, you've seen 40 patients, you've spoken to 20 more on the phone, you've done your emails, prescriptions, doc man, referrals, the cleaners are hoovering around your feet and now it's time for you to look at your results and you come across the results for Jane. Jane is a 72 year old lady who you saw a few days ago with some fairly non-specific complaints of fatigue and aches and pains but you don't see Jane very often and something about this worried you enough to do some blood tests. Fortunately all of these blood tests seem to be absolutely normal except she has a raised platelet count of 426. What if anything should we do about that? Well, taking a raised platelet count into consideration when deciding on referral decisions was one of the more eye-catching recommendations in the NICE suspected cancer uh, referral guidelines from back in 2015. But we weren't really sure what the clinical relevance of that was in primary care until this fantastic new research was published in the British Journal of General Practice last year from Professor Willie Hamilton and his team in Exeter. What they did is they looked at 40,000 patients who'd had a full blood count done for any possible reason in primary care and were found to have a platelet count over 400. And they were compared to 10,000 matched controls that had had a normal platelet count. Over the course of the next year, 12% of the men and 6% of the women who'd been found to have a raised platelet count were subsequently diagnosed with cancer. Figures which rose to 18% uh, for men and 10% for women if it were confirmed on a second test compared to only 2% and 4% in men and women in the control groups. So the learning point from this research is clear. A finding of a raised platelet count in primary care is a potential risk marker for cancer and does need further evaluation. Hopefully, with Jane, everything will turn out to be fine. It may be that a raised platelet count for her is completely normal. It may be that it's just a temporary response. Platelets can be raised as an inflammatory marker and everything will normalize. But what this research shows is that this finding of thrombocytosis in primary care is as likely to be a predictor of cancer as if we discovered a patient to have unexplained hypercalcemia or a middle-aged woman came to see us with a new breast lump. We wouldn't ignore those and we shouldn't ignore this either. This is just the type of clinically relevant, practice-changing, important research that we love to cover on the Hot Topics course.